I'm just going to give you a, a quick example of where we're at as a company. So the Helo is powerful. The Helo delivers data that no other device delivers. And the next product that'll be, that'll be coming out very soon, and I think they're going to give you a, a, a clue to that in Vegas, it's got medical grade sensors. It's got the blood sugar monitoring, blood alcohol monitoring, oxygen level. I mean, it's like unreal. Like it's like all of the bells and whistles. It's like phenomenal. Highest grade everything. Clinically said all the good stuff. The open API platform goes live in Vegas as well. So all the programmers, all the app developers, all the people that have had these ideas, they're going to get to pull the trigger and go all in on it. So I sat in with Dr. Malavi and, Dr. And, 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 and Fabio, and Dr. Malavi starts talking about, I want to do this, I want to do that. He starts sharing some of his ideas around the open API platform. And as he started sharing some of his ideas, I had a light bulb moment. Here's my light bulb moment. Data alone, data by itself. So for most people, you wear the Gila, you run the report, and all you're getting is data, right? You're getting data, your blood pressure, your blood sugar coming, coming next. You're getting data, you're getting numbers. Well, for the average person, those numbers don't translate into any value in daily life necessarily. No habit change, how does it affect my health, what do I do? For the average person, it's data. No emotional connection to it, it's data. Now, it's amazing to go, wow, this is amazing, but it's data. Here's, where, here's why I believe the open API platform is another level of the game changer. And I'll just give you an example of this. Let's say that there was a weight loss app that tied into the blood sugar monitoring. And somebody says, I want to lose weight with my Hilo. They download the app and literally based upon their blood sugar levels throughout the day, they can begin to monitor and follow and look at their diet. And if they follow the, 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 the meter and say, I'm going to stay within what the app tells me to stay in, I'm going to lose weight every single day. First time ever in the world, for example, I mean, one example, first time ever, wearable technology that helps people lose weight. Never been done before. Game change. So now it goes from what's your blood sugar level to losing weight. I'm, I'm losing weight. Think about you know, sleep. Think about more energy. Think about as, as the brilliant minds in the world today take the data of the Gila and say, we're going to take this data and we're going to go solve people's problems. Oxygen flow in their body, circulation, sleep, low energy levels, blood pressure, blood sugar issues, overweight. list goes on and on and on and on and on. Fitness, fitness goals. And through the app that connects to the Hilo, that data now becomes transformation for that person. <clears throat> That data now becomes, it delivers a life-changing result in their life. Think about every person you know in the health and wellness industry and network marketing. Think about this. They're all competing against each other with the same product in a different colored bag with a different name. And we show up in the market and say, we have a wearable technology device that will be the best weight loss coach ever in the world and will allow you to monitor in real time with accountability the diet intake and the effect of, the, of their habits throughout the day to help them maximize the journey they're on with you as a fitness coach or as a health coach or as whatever it is. Guys, I'm telling you, that market, that was one tiny example, thousands of examples, but here's what's going to happen. In 2018, we're going to go from an amazing device that delivers data to an amazing device with an app store that delivers change. And people are gonna see transformation results in many areas of their life because of the artificial intelligence and the data of the Hilo. It's gonna be transformative. One little sneak peek of what's possible. I wanna show you something real quick. Check this out, I'm pulling my screen share up again. Guys, look at this. This is from Business Insider. Business Insider. Now we know Forbes Magazine let us know that the consumer market's 34 billion. That's projected by 2020. That's a consumer market. That's the public, general public. But look at this. 
the global market for IoT, the Internet of Things, which we've been talking about for a year now, it's built in our device, IoT healthcare tech, will top $400 billion in 2020. $400 billion. Look at the next sentence. I just took clips from this article. I read it just last night. Right now, Internet of Things devices for healthcare are dominated by wearables, which make up 60% of the connected medical device market, according to the it is sent, report, I think it said. Next sentence, the health sector is the most promising area for wearable adoption. We haven't even tapped into this market yet. We haven't even tapped into it yet. Look at this next paragraph. Consumer-facing products will eventually be used for more advanced medical care. Watch this, guys. Tech giants, including Apple, Google, and Samsung, are investing significant resources. Watch this into developing devices. They're investing resources into development. Ladies and gentlemen, we already have it developed. You understand for the first time in our lives, you're ahead of the big boys in the next market trend and explosion. This is unreal. And Fabio had the brilliance to say it's not just about the device, but we've got to create a platform that allows the device to do whatever it needs to do for individual people so the data and, 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 the, and the functionality of the device can do more than just give them numbers, but it can help them change whatever it is they want to change. Tech giants, including Apple, Google, and Samsung, are investing significant resources into developing devices that will help bridge the gap between fitness tracking, hello Fitbit and the current market, fitness tracking, and actual medical care. Future products will serve both consumer and professional markets. I share that with you because I want you to understand, this is not even about the medical space. Or this. What I'm telling you is we already have in our hands, on our wrists, and in our pockets coming soon, what the mega empire companies are dropping billions of dollars to try to create. We have it. We are there. We are there clinically studied. Like your mind is going to be blown with what is coming and where we're going as a company. Never seen a moment like this in all of my life. And I'm just giving you the picture of what is possible because it is truly, truly unlimited. We had some folks on our team that met with, I don't know the details, a big medical company or, or I think it was a medical company, it's doctors, physicians, and they're looking for a wearable tech device that potentially could reach 10,000 plus people and patients, whatever it is. They met with, listen to this guys, they met with Apple, Apple flew in and pitched them on their beta version of their device. Samsung flew in, Pitched them on their version of what they haven't unveiled yet. And then they saw the helo. They tried them all. They quantified the results. They looked at the possibilities. And they said no to Apple. They said no to Samsung. And they said, we want to buy 500 helos to start with. And when the new device comes out, it does this, this, this. We're going in for 10,000.